Where is Montenegro? Now, this is a question that we've been asked a few times, so, and we didn't really know ourselves mm -hmm. before uh, we started researching on where we were gonna go. Um, Montenegro is on the Adriatic Sea, across from Italy, below Croatia, above Albania. So that's where Montenegro is at, and that's where we're at right now. Yeah, and Montenegro is a small country. It is uh, 600,000 residents. Yeah. So one of the reasons that we do the pros and cons video is when we go someplace before we go, we kind of want to know what to expect. We don't necessarily want to know everything about the place, but you don't want to come in kind of blinded. We actually had a recent comment from somebody of, oh, well, these places, they all look so beautiful. And that kind of struck us because they are beautiful but there's also not the pretty side. We just want to make sure that we're bringing you all the um, pros, cons, the, um, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever, however you want to put it, um, so that when you do come, if you decide to come, you're very prepared for what you're going to be you know seeing. What you're getting into. A couple things that have been really easy for us to transition into being here in Montenegro um, is the Euro. Uh, we, we just started figuring out the Euro, and the other thing is just the language. Uh, they, they speak a lot of English here, um, which makes it easier for us. We know that we should try and learn their language, but, but which is Montenegrin. Mm -hmm. right. um, but, you know, when you're going from country to country, it's hard to learn every language. So yeah. we, we do try. And we learned we learn some of the basic words yeah. here. Honestly, we we learned what we learned beer. Well, <laughs> yeah. We learned beer, and we learned um, we learned to say thank you. One thing that when we are traveling to different locations that you have to look up is when you're entering somewhere on whatever passport you're on, how how long can I stay? What is required? Do I need a visa? Is there an application process? And coming into Montenegro is uh, super easy for us. It, we have 90 days. We don't need a visa. There's no application or anything that we need to do. So that that's a real positive. The other, the other thing is just the cost of living. Um, it's, it's a small country, it's a very new country, uh, so it's not very expensive. Um, we're, we're finding that uh, we're going to save a little bit of money this month, which is nice. Um, you know, we're not going to go over all of our expenses now, um, as a matter of fact. Yeah, uh, next you know. week we do have a cost of living mm -hmm. video coming out where we are covering cost of living in two different locations. Um, we decided to just do one video on um, both locations because they're very close to each other and our cost of living was quite similar in both. So we will have that coming next week. So be sure and subscribe and ring the bell and um, you'll see that coming next week and uh, you'll be able to see what we spent. Thumbs up go a long way too. Yeah, that is, that's really nice too. <laughs> and, and give us a comment if you have anything that you want to ask that we don't, we don't cover in here. Um, yeah. Definitely comment down below and we, we do our best to get to all the comments. We get to all the comments. Yes, <laughs> we get to all the comments. So now, if you've seen any of our other videos um, when we were in Couture or, or, or our first impressions of Bukka, um, it's just, just a beautiful place. I mean, the, the scenery is it's very Instagrammable. Um, so if you're not on our Instagram, you can sign up for that too. <laughs> But it's just a beautiful place, and uh, we're really, I think the, the old town here, um, I don't want to get to each old town and think it's better than the last, but I really do enjoy this one. It's on the sea, yeah. and it's just, it's just really pretty. One of the major bonuses here is also the internet. Um, we haven't had any issues, and we anybody who travels a lot knows that every place you go is kind of a mystery what you're going to be having where you get when you get there. So um, we've been very happy with that. And the other huge positive is the Wi-Fi is, is readily available everywhere. We didn't have to buy a SIM card in either location that we were in. Not that no. they're expensive, they're, it's very cheap here, but um, we just didn't even have to hassle with that because we had Wi-Fi in, as long as we had a couple different restaurants where we had gotten Wi-Fi. Yeah. So we had like four or five different restaurants we mm -hmm. usually go to and we set up the Wi-Fi. Um, you just walk by it and you hook on and you're yeah. good to go. Yeah. So while we've been here in Montenegro, we've actually only had to use transportation a couple times. I would have to say, I mean, the transportation is very, very inexpensive. Um, for taxi ride, we chose to just take, we could have taken a bus for, for I think it was three euro yeah. to come from Couture to Budva. But we just decided to go ahead and take the taxi because it ended up being 17, 17 euro. Yeah. They picked you, you know, we got it right from our place and then it brought us right to our place here. So it was just hassle free. One thing that you may consider a con, disadvantage, whatever you want to call it, when you do get here, you need to register and you need to pay a tourist tax. So our first stop here was fantastic. Our Airbnb host was amazing. 
her and her dad drove there. <laughs> she went in and did the, we gave her the money. She they did the great. tourist tax yeah. and, and took care of everything and registered us. Our second place, I don't know if we would have not even asked her being ho be host. We knew about it, yeah. so we asked and asked where the location was and had that taken care of. But if you don't know that coming in, the downside to that is if you don't pay the tourist tax, which is one euro per person per day, um, and you then get to the airport and you go to fly out or you cross the border, you are penalized and you are going to pay a fine. Yeah. So that is something you need to do. And with that, it's also, you don't just go in and say, I'm here, I'm gonna pay this. You need to have the name of somebody uh, that you is registered in the system to put down. So if you're staying at a hotel, my understanding is they take care of all of this for you and that's included. But I would definitely make sure I check that out. With that being said, if you come in the off season, you still have to pay the tourist tax and there's not as much to do. The jet skis aren't available this time of year. The boat rentals aren't available this time of year. Um, you can jump in the ocean if you want to, but it's gonna be a little chilly. Uh, just the, the everyday activities that you would get um, in, in the on season, um, you're not gonna get now. The on season is really just considered July and August. Yeah. So if you skirt on the outside of those, just a little bit and you you still get the nice weather i would imagine year. everything yeah. is still open i think That's places just are starting to get cleaned up now yeah for march april may another thing that we get asked a lot is about health care in some of the places that we're going and we do research um, as far as especially if it's a place we're looking at transitioning to and going to be staying for maybe three months at a time or potentially as in a place that we would actually relocate to yeah. so montenegro is actually rated quite low uh, on the scale it, we couldn't really even find an actual ranking place for it, but um, the information we did find is that because of the the population here is so low, so the taxpayer paying into it is not a whole lot, um, it, it, they just don't have the funds to have the system that they might want to have. They are working on it. Yeah. We, do, we do understand the doctors are good and they're trained yeah. well, they just don't have the don't financial have the backing and they don't resources. Have the resources they need. Yeah. And, and there is a system in place mm -hmm. Uh, to improve it and then they're working on it but again that, that takes time. So, yeah so if that is something that is yeah. really important to you as it is for us that's just something to consider and do your own research. Back to bringing you all the pretty Instagrammable you know the, the beauty of everything that, that Montenegro has to offer um, you know when you show up it doesn't all look like that there are um, places that are a little bit run down um, just not kept as well as maybe you're used to. Now, this isn't that big of a deal to us, but we want you to be aware of it. It might be a big deal to you. Um, you know, there's a lot of construction going on and these, these buildings are massive and they're not anywhere near being done. So if you come in the next probably two years, mm -hmm. they're still gonna be working on them. Yeah. Um, but if you wanna get into some, some investment property, it <laughs> might be a good opportunity. Yeah. Um, it's actually surprising yeah how much new construction is going yeah. on here. So they might, they apparently know and something. <laughs> they look great too. Yeah. They, they put the pictures up on the billboards and, and yeah. they've got pools and, and they're really And nice. these are all seafront properties. Yeah. And there's a few of them that are already view. completed yeah. that, that people are living in. And, and so they, they, they are working on it, but, but be aware of it. It's just something mm -hmm. worth mentioning. I wouldn't even call it a con. No. I call it worth mentioning. So the first month we were here, we stayed in Couture. Um, we've got a couple videos um, about that, uh, but the pros and cons about Couture, um, it's a beautiful place, mm -hmm. a lot of hiking to do. You know, our Airbnb host, he actually had a um, trip, what were they, uh, MapQuest? MapQuest, uh, Map yeah. Quest, he, had Maps a, he had a great book. <laughs> of, uh, all highlighted of all the trails that you can go hiking on. Now, we did go on one. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we highly recommend. We highly recommend doing that. Um, but it's it's fantastic mm -hmm. and it's just one more thing to do um, in the off season you don't have to be there it's probably better to do it in the off season because it's not so hot yeah so so we had a great time doing that the other um, we did day trips out of um, Couture they have some great day trips they're very easy to do very inexpensive to get transportation and super easy as well um, we went to Parast one that we didn't make it to is Tavat we could have done more day trips. Once again, that's the off-season thing. Even a lot of restaurants are closed. So not much fun. It's not as much fun. Yeah. Old Town Couture is a beautiful old town. It's very much lived in. 
Um, it has a lot of restaurants. That's where all of their, their banks are located in Old Town. They had some little shops and um, plenty of shopping. Plenty Definitely. hotels. Yeah, oh. and, mm -hmm. and tourist tourist based but also um, not because there was a lot of locals that are in there doing all their daily stuff. The tour I would say you can be there any time of year. Yeah. And, and we very like much that. enjoyed our time there. Yeah. Plus we also had this uh, really nice Airbnb yeah. with an amazing view so on those days that it was cruddy or cold or whatever um, we could just be at home and, and take it. I mean it was a, it was a beautiful place. So. Yeah. We also found that in Couture there is not the same level of like high rises and things, which is one of the appealing things about Couture. It's a lot of more homes and condos and stuff like that. But with that, uh, you're gonna pay a bit more for your Airbnbs. So the cost is a little bit more to stay there. Cost of living is the same as far as all the other items, but uh, your your Airbnb and your rentals are gonna be a bit more. Now in Bud Bud, that wasn't the case uh, because of the accessibility like we were talking about. They're building so many places. The accessibility here to find rentals is really easy and uh, way less cost. So well, once again, we'll cover all of that in our yeah, cost of living. But, next week. Yeah. You know, another difference between Bud and Couture is if you are into the nightlife scene, um, going out and, you know, partying, uh, Bud is a place to be mm -hmm. and Couture probably isn't. Yeah. Um, there's just a lot less to do, um, but again, those places are closed right now. So Carrie and I haven't been able to party at all. Which at we're these okay with. That are, you know, <laughs> we're okay <laughs> with that. And if you don't like to be woken up at night, uh, you may not want to be here during those times because a lot of the reviews that I read on Airbnbs was talking about how loud it can get. Yeah. So just be aware of that. But that may be totally be your scene. So could be. Yeah. <laughs> After spending two months in Montenegro. We would definitely recommend you put it on your list of places to go. For sure. Uh, it, we had a great time. We weren't real familiar with Montenegro before we had that kind of make a, an adjustment on our, on our travels. And we're so glad that we, we mm -hmm. ended up here. For sure. We've had a fantastic time. It's a beautiful country. Yeah. Um, one thing that I would add is, is that we talked about both Budva here and we talked about Kator. If you can, obviously most people aren't coming and staying for a month in each location, yeah. but you can visit both of these places. So if you just come into Couture, like we said, the taxi ride was 20 minutes and it was 17 euro, yeah. or you can take the bus, which was three euro. Come on over to Budva or vice versa and see the other place because I have, we highly recommend both, you know? It's and so if you, yeah. yeah, so pick one based off of, you know, like we said, beach town or the other you're on the bay. Um, you know, pick one of them, but make sure and visit both of them because they were both beautiful. So we're going to pick a completely different country here next week. So hopefully you stick with us. Yeah. Subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Those thumbs ups, they, they go a long way. Yeah. So please do. Thanks for being with us. You going to yeah. cheers with me? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>